I got something cool to show you here today. We want to show you six monitors running on a single USB 3 laptop. Um, and these are it's running 100% of our products from Pluggable Technologies. And so I wanted to give you a walkthrough of, of what we've done here. So first, let me show you uh, what this looks like to Windows. So here's the Windows 7 screen resolution control panel. And you can see we've got uh, a total of uh, seven monitors here, counting the laptop. Um, and a few oriented uh, to uh, kind of a portrait orientation. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hit the identify button on this dialog and, and that'll bring up numbers on each uh, monitor to kind of show you know which monitor number Windows thinks each one is. And so when you first plug in all of these USB graphics adapters, um, that's how you you know can kind of tell which one's which and, and configure Windows properly. So, how are we doing this? How are we connecting six additional displays to, to one uh, laptop and having three videos playing and all these browsers up? And we're doing it through USB, and it's actually a single USB cable, this USB 3 cable. It's going from the laptop, which is a USB 3 capable laptop. Uh, I think it's a Core i5. Um, actually, over here, you can kind of see a little bit of the CPU usage. We're you know, right now using about half of the four cores here. Um, so then this uh, USB cable goes over to uh, the pluggable 7-port USB 3 hub uh, with a 4-amp power adapter, which is actually pretty critical. It's the, um, it's the highest amperage power adapter of any USB 3 7-port hub out there right now. And it's pretty essential for a scenario like this where we've, we're using every single port and they're all bus-powered devices. So what do we got connected here? So we've got our six displays, so a pluggable USB 3 VGA adapter going to this monitor. An HDMI, a pluggable USB 3 HDMI adapter going here, and we've got our little DVI adapter attachment. And here, the network on this machine is actually also going through, uh, going through USB. This is the pluggable USB 2 gigabit Ethernet adapter. So we've got a USB 2 device mixed in here. And then over here, we've got the three other displays. Another HDMI adapter, another VGA, and another VGA. And so I'm able to take Windows here like this uh, you know Windows uh, display panel uh, display control panel app application and just move it between there um, you know I can have browsers and dashboards and you know the performance is snappier than it would be uh, on USB 2 you can actually do the same type of setup on USB 2 um, but if you were to run three videos like this simultaneously uh, while you were also you know kind of moving windows around and stuff oh that's the uh, the, the windows behavior of uh, of kind of highlighting a single application by wiggling. Um, but um, let's try to get those guys to come back up. I always forget uh, what the behavior is, but we'll just zoom each of these windows back to their prior location. And the videos back, back, and back. And uh, so with USB 2, you would you know, you'd have a, a little bit more lag, like on these videos you would have some more drop frames and stuff. But USB 3 with 10 times the bandwidth of USB 2, you're able to do a lot more. Now actually a little bit earlier we tested with six videos, a video up on each monitor, and that was pushing even, uh, with USB 3 that was still pushing it too far. Now we think it was actually primarily a, um, a kind of a CPU or GPU issue, um, a little bit less so the USB bus, but still um, we're good with three or four videos with this particular laptop, um, but, uh, but it's all enabled by USB 3 and by the pluggable USB 3 7 port hub and a whole bunch of pluggable USB graphics adapters. So if you have any questions at all, feel free to comment on the video where uh, we pride ourselves in kind of being engaged on support, so we'd be happy to answer any of your questions. Thanks.